let me tell you something. Kids are a totally different beast. My child came to me and she said, Dad, what is a nick? Victory is mine! And she said it with the hard R. Now, I've been a father for over 12 years now. And I'm still surprised by some of the things that my kids come to me and say. Oh, why can't I put grapes in my shoe? I don't know, Selena, because we don't want you to walk around with grape feet. I, why do I even have to a answer that? Other days I get the, Dad, why can't people fly? Because we don't have wings. We use an airplane. We've used our minds to be able to craft these beautiful, beautiful machines. And then we hop in them, these buses with wings. And we trust and pray to God that we're going to make it to our final destination without it being our final destination. Then you get days like this. So I was able to sit down and have a talk with her you know, yesterday. And then today... Before I took it to school, I wanted to reiterate a few more things. I wanted to take it on a more lighter tone. And when I tell you, it was quite a difficult conversation because I didn't have practice to do this. All I could do is be like, okay, let me tell you the best way I could. And what I noticed, I was, I was still withholding certain things. I was, it was just interesting. I noticed that I was talking to a 12 year old and some of, the thing, some of the things that I wanted to say, she probably wouldn't understand that way. And some of the things that if I did say a certain way, it would probably lead her to think a certain way. So it was, it's always coming down to how much of the truth can you balance with misunderstanding or not being able to comprehend certain things. And this is how it went. <laughs> not to die. Whatever. All right. So once again, what did you ask me yesterday? Mm-hmm. Thought I wasn't gonna come back to this. <laughs> but oh mom already told me it's a cuss word. What did you ask me yesterday? What is a nigga <laughs> nigga? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Well the situation isn't well, you can joke about it now, and a lot of people do joke about it. And sometimes you even possibly hear me say something like that every now and then. You say the N I G D A. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes I do and say that. It's similar to that. It is very similar. But do you understand where it came from? No. All right. Well, that word. I you just can... know people call black people that now. Okay. Well. Hmm. And it's and I hear that word so many times in the book that we're reading. Okay, and that's fine. That's educational. That's informative. But. Back in the day, do you know why they called individuals that? Well, back then, that was a term of hatred. You know, um, unfortunately, during that time, you would have, uh, with less or better terms, you would have white people calling black people n****. And when they called them what they meant was they were dirty, they were uneducated, they were less than human. Oh. Meaning they were worthless. They were stock like animals. And that's how it was back then. Um, the you know, white people would have slaves or they would have individuals working in their homes or on their fields and other places like that. Now, we don't have a lot of time to get into it, but I'm going to just tell you that much. And they were just not worth nothing. They were just a n****. So when you, when there was a black person walking down the street, if they could walk down the street, no matter where they are, were, and a white person wanted to disrespect them or just seem bigger than somebody and bully them, they just said it's just a dumb n****. I feel bad for the people who, who lived through uh, back then. Yeah, but that they were able to put things into place and fight and push and bring things into light to where you don't have to be called a nigga, where you're not a person that's seen as less than. Because they were able to fight for that. They were able to push for that. And unfortunately, you still see it today where people think, oh, well, if you're brown or if you're any other ethnicity other than white, they get they get bullied, in a sense. They get mistreated. They don't get the same. They're not valued the same. So, that term, n 
it's pretty bad. If you hear people in your school talking about that outside of an informative way or some, some educational way, you have to bring it to somebody's attention. That's not good for anybody. And it's, it's not, you're not telling on anybody if you just bring it to the teachers and the principal's awareness, because that's not, that's not, that's not good. What if they're just doing it in a joking way? That's one of the problems. That's what I saw, a joking way. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, there's a big separation of that, though. There's people that feel that you should be able to joke about it because you know, black people joke about it and they use the term all the time, right? And then you have the other side of that argument that says, hey, you shouldn't say it at all. And the only people that can not say it are the black people. Then you have another part of the argument that says, no, it absolutely shouldn't be said, not even in a joking way. Um, none of that. No taking ownership of this, 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 and that. There's a lot of different sides to that. For you and for the youth of America, it shouldn't be used in a joking manner. Y'all shouldn't be going around saying uh, that, making fun of this and making fun of that. And I'll be the one to say it. Most definitely no Caucasian kids need to be going around saying that. What's Caucasian kids? White people. There don't need to be no little white kids going around dropping that word that easily. It just shouldn't. That's something that their parents should be letting them know, should be teaching them, should be informing them about. And it's crazy that, I hate to say it, a little Caucasian kid probably said it, well, most likely said it, before you even know what the term was. My friend. But we'll continue on this another day. Floored me. Now, I feel like I could have done a better job. But one thing I've noticed is I'm always going to feel like that. I'm always going to feel like, could I have said it better? Could I have done it better? Could I have come up with better analogies? It's always that what if that I be feeling I, that I feel deep down inside after trying to, you know, supply some clarity and understanding to my little ones. And I guess that's a good thing because I, it kind of drives, it drives me to continuously try to explain things better, to articulate better, um, even when somebody can't comprehend something. Now, I'm going to be able to focus in more on the on that as she asks me more questions later on this week or this month or as she grows. And I want to be able to not shelter her so much as I've done and let her understand more of this this world that was and you know in a sense is but I can be proud of the fact that there was a safe space for her to talk there was a safe space for her to come to me she felt confident about coming to me and I love that when you're the person that someone feels that they can come to they can ask you questions and can say you don't know but if you do know and you have some input they trust what you have to say that is amazing i love it and that comes with the trust factor of making sure that whatever you do say you're making sure that what you say is as accurate as possible it's unbiased and it's not manipulative and that's what you heard in that conversation you heard me struggling trying not to make it biased trying not to make it so dark as, as even though it is um, try not to garner her thoughts and guide her thoughts to a certain perspective rather than letting her understand it and letting her experiences mold a better comprehensive understanding around everything. But look, this is day 50 of me posting a new video to YouTube every day for 365 days, nonstop, no matter what. If you've been able to enjoy the videos that I've been able to post, by all means, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Uh, or maybe like this video, share it with someone that you believe it may help or bring some enlightenment, uh, enlightening moments to. Or as I keep saying, by all means, watch another video. You might find some good intellectual entertainment that really just shifts your gibby. What is a gibby? What did I just say? Anywho, y'all be great. Y'all be cool. Be awesome. And as always, see you at the finish line.